being in leadership. Is that I can still encourage you right. while I'm going through. Yeah. Right. And I cannot forsake you oh, even while I'm going through preaching to my dog myself. Yeah. I, I, I still have uh, yeah. a call on my life yeah. and a charge to keep my head yeah. and a God to glorify. Yeah. I've got to serve the president. To encourage your kind work or your child or your sister, your brother, or even a stranger you didn't even know. That's called the Holy Ghost. Because the Holy Ghost will get the strength in the areas you didn't even know you could have strength in. And I need somebody in here that knows without a shadow of a doubt. I got the Holy Ghost because there have been times I didn't have some money, but I still gave in. There were times I didn't know the answer to a question, but I was still in. Because you're stuck on what was 
when God is trying to prepare you for what's to come. Okay. So, see, that's what folk don't want to hear. They, they think that they can live in the past and enjoy the present. You can't live on what used to be um, and expect God to keep opening doors for you. You can't keep holding on to old baggage and think God is going to bless you with something new. If you want something new, you've got to learn. Here it is, uh, Miss Brenda, is that you've got to learn, as Paul says, to press. Uh, uh, Paul had a made up mind in the sense of direction that he was going to be pressing in. Because you can press backwards, you can press down, you can press over, but a lot of us forget how to press. Try to help somebody get here. Uh, in your pressing, here's why I said there's tension in the text. Because the enemy is going to try to throw everything at you to make the pressing hard for you. Um, uh, sometimes pressing your way um, is where the rubber meets the road. Um, it's easier said than done. Uh, it, it's easy for you to hear a good sermon about pressing your way until you get home and you feel the opposition pressing against you. It's easy to hear a good sermon and to shout in church, but what happens when you have to go home to the same issues, to the same problems, to the same circumstances, to the same people at the same The reason why you can't quit is because um, number one, it's not an option. Number two, there's something on the other side of your pressing. Okay. You're not pressing just for exercise. You're not pressing uh, from for, for just the joy of it, but you're pressing to get where God is calling you yeah. to be. Yeah. Here it is, Paul says, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. I need you to understand that in your pressing, don't let your pressing make you bitter, let it make you better. Uh, here it is, before you get bitter, you'll get better. Before you lay down, you'll take a stand. Before you go crazy, you'll be sensible. Before you go back, you'll press ahead. And before you quit, you'll keep on going. Because quitting is not an option. Huh. I need you to understand there's a story, and I'm getting ready to get out of here. Um, I was driving. I was living in Salisbury, North Carolina. The church was in Greensboro, North Carolina, which is about a 45 to 50 minute drive. And we were in church, had a good church at home. And just before the benediction, you could hear the thunder roll and the lightning flash. And the rain was pouring and the wind was blowing. But I had to get home because that was my destination. And, and, and everybody said, Pastor, won't you just stay here? I said, I've got to get home, y'all. I can't stay here. And so as I begin to, if anybody's ever been in North Carolina, you know what 85 looks like. I got on 85, pressing my way to Salisbury, North Carolina. And the rain and the winds got worse. And, 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 and Sister Ramona was in the car with me. And she began to say, why don't you pull to the side of the road? like the rest of the cars with their flashers on. And I began to tell her that the, the difference between me and them is I'm going to keep on pressing. Because one thing I've learned in that car drive home is that the more I kept on driving and the more I kept on pushing, I began to realize the rain 
begin to lighten up and the lightning stop flashing and I stop hearing thunder roar and I begin to look in my rear view mirror and I begin to see all the other cars stuck on the side of the road I kept on pushing and I kept on driving because I knew I had to be somewhere is there anybody Everybody. 